I always tell people I'm working with, you have to know what tools are required for the job and then you have to know how to use them. There are lots of tools in the world of dog training. Head collars, martingale collars, hundreds of different leashes, training collars. So, what I just showed you there it's a tie-out stake. It's buried in the ground. It's about five dollars. I'm in an open public space. There are tons of things that are going to draw my dog's attention, like animals, birds, neighbors, who knows what else is out here. These, this is rope. It's 100 feet of rope. This is also 100 feet of rope. About $10. Pretty affordable. This is the end of the rope. Sometimes I'm at the end of my rope, but that's another story. This is tape. And I have fashioned a end here, and I've attached a carabiner, and that's going to attach to a dog. So now, I have a dog on a 100-foot leash that's attached to the ground. I can drop the leash now, I can leave the dog out here, or, which is what we're going to talk about, we're going to do some recall training. So, if you have one dog, your equipment costs for this kind of setup will be around $20. Once you have this stuff, once you have these tools, it's time to just get out in the world, set up your tools, and start training your dog. So, with the leash, you can do all kinds of stuff, and your dog is secure and not going anywhere, right? Need a cup? So if you need to, the leash is always there, your dog is distracted and you call them and they're not responding, don't worry, you have this trusty little leash, you can give a little bit of feedback, bring the dog in, and keep practicing until you get more and more superstar recalls and then you can let the dog off the leash, you can use a lighter weight leash, all kinds of tricks to work on this behavior. So 100 feet of rope attached to a little tiny dog, that's going to be hard because that's going to put quite a bit of weight on her. So for this particular dog, uh, this long, long leash is really more of a management tool. I can leave her outside in the middle of the wilderness, which is kind of where we are, and I know she's secured to this line, so I'm not worried about her running away, and then me having to find out where she went. Because when I call her over to me, she's going to be a bit of a struggle, because she's going to be carrying this long line. So obviously, as you train with your pet, especially as you get more advanced in your recall work, if you're working in public spaces, you may want to consider shorter leads or leads that are lighter in weight. So it's almost like they don't even know they're there, but you have them for security. All right, let's see if we can do some work here. The other thing I want to do is train the dogs to respond to a whistle. So there's Lily over there. Stand up. So my new cue is the sound of the whistle. <whistles> Lily, come! And the old cue is the one she already knows. So the new cue comes first. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yay. So the new cue, then the cue they know, and then you reward. Eventually, she'll respond to the whistle. Lily, come. Good dog. Good girl. So my new cue, which is the sound of the whistle, Come on, keep coming. That new cue comes first, and then the cue she knows comes next, and then the reward follows. Good girl, good girl, yeah, good job. Oh, thank you both. Good work. And of course, now they're gonna get their snacks. And when you're first doing this recall stuff, you better make those rewards potent. Make them special. Give them their favorite things. Jackpot. 
the other thing I want you to make sure you're doing is training your dogs to chase you. No. Don't chase your dogs, train them to chase you. Ready? Come on. Come on, guys. Good girls. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Good girl. Good job. Gentle. Chase me, Gabe. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. All right, so we got to see some of that. Now, what we do, take off her thing. I'm gonna cue her. Vita, free dog. Good girl, good girl. Come on there, come on, Limpy. Come on, tripod, sit. That's a good doggy. Such a good girly. Gentle. You can have a little piece too. Good job. Good job. Lily. Good job. What a good girly. Perfect. Good job, Lily. Give you a couple for that. A couple snacks for that. Beautiful performance.